before I say anything in this video, y'all, I'm wearing jeans. It's officially jean weather. Fall is on the horizon. Welcome to a new video, friends. I'm very excited for this vlog. I have grand plans and ambitions for it, and we'll see how I uh, stick to that. But essentially, I'm trying to take you along for this week ahead. It's currently Monday, and we're gonna see how much I can try to read this week while working, doing side things, trying to have a life, rest, all of the things. I'm trying, try, we're trying to do all of the things. It's one of those vlogs. And I know in my last video, my like reset video, I was really kind of sharing a lot about what I've been struggling with, trying to really rest this year, and also that now that we're in the second half of the year and fall's coming, I'm just like really energized, really inspired, just kind of ready to like get on the horse and go in terms of like content, YouTube, creating things, and we're, we're starting, we're doing it. I came home a little bit ago and tried to brain dump a to-do list of all the things going on this week. So it's one of those weeks where I have, it's quiet at my job in terms of like nothing crazy is going on, but there is like a little bit of chaos happening outside of work. That's kind of like the balance I need to show up and film this video. So cheers to that. I made a brain dump to-do list and I think I need to like rewrite this into buckets. That's something I used to do a lot when I was way more into planning and doing a lot of things, I would just like stream of consciousness, write everything out on a piece of scrap paper that was in my head that I wanted to do. And then I would go back and kind of categorize them into buckets like work or YouTube, personal life stuff. And that really helps me figure out when to do all that and like how to plug it into my schedule. So we're gonna talk about, you know, a little bit of productivity and stuff like that, but I want the main meat of I want the main meat of this video to be focused on reading and how I'm adding in reading into what's going on this week. So we'll get into the books that I want to read later, but today is Monday and this is like gonna be my prep, my prep day to make sure I have time and capacity later in the week to show up and read. And then there's also some other things going on. So I think I need to get my to-do list all sorted out in my head and kind of plug and play like when things need to happen. I need to pick out the books that I'm going to be reading or at least pull them out, show you guys obviously, and meal prep. That's my main to-do this evening and it's on here. I want to meal prep um, lunches for the week so I don't have to think about waking up and packing my lunch. That's something that I struggle with a lot and if I, I know when I meal prep I have meals, it just makes waking up in the morning so much easier. I don't have to spend like 20 minutes putting a lunch together. I just have it all done, you know, the night before. And I'm gonna make stir fry, which is kind of my go-to, really the only thing that I meal prep lately. I'm gonna make a vegetable stir fry with tofu and I can get like three to four lunches out of that. So that should take me for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And actually I am off Friday which is actually an exciting thing. I think Friday's gonna be a big reading block. Um, but Saturday, I have a photogra event photography gig in the morning that I'll take you guys along with me. So we have some different things going on this week, which makes it fun and exciting for me to film and hopefully fun for you guys to watch and kind of see what I'm up to. So it's kind of a normal week, but not really a normal week at all. Hence why we are trying to also read more, but we're gonna try and focus on reading in between the pockets of this crazy, crazy week. Welcome, and let's let's get started by, I think, reorganizing my to-do list. All right, let's go do that. <laughs> Okay, I made my bucket listed 
to-do list. It feels comfier now. And I picked my two books. I feel like this light is like crazy. Let me fix it. I think that's better. So my main book that I'm gonna be start reading tonight because I've been dying to get to this point in my life where I can finally read it is Middle of the Night by Riley Sager. Y'all know I'm a big Riley Sager fan. I have not read all of their books, but I have read a good amount of them and I've done quite a few reading vlogs where I've read his books. One of my favorite books that I read last year when it came out is The Only One Left. It was a very gothic setting where it was in New England, I think it was in Maine. Gothic chiller about a young caregiver assigned to work for a woman accused of a Lizzie Borden-like massacres decades earlier. And this, I loved this book because I loved the twist. I was just like enthralled by all of the chaos that was happening and I was strapped in and just loved the entire experience until the end. So we're going into middle of the night with, what are my expectations? I don't know. I think I'm going in just wanting to enjoy the experience and not necessarily have high or low expectations for the story itself and the characters. I have not really read, I have not read any reviews or watched any booktubers reviews on it. Um, the closest to having somebody else's opinion in my ear is my friend Amanda said that she's heard there's mixed reviews about this. So I'm not going into this totally like unaware, but I've not really formulated expectations or opinions based on other people's reviews, if that makes any sense. Just going into it, kind of just excited for the ride and we'll see how it goes. I mean, honestly, if I could just like predict how this week is gonna go, I feel like I'm probably gonna be able to read this through like definitely Friday. Like I'm not gonna finish it probably by Friday, but I have Friday off. So maybe I can finish it by Friday. Maybe we'll set that as a goal. An extreme goal would be to finish this in like 48 hours. Like I'll start it tonight and then I'll finish it like Wednesday night. I mean, we'll just see how like addicting and page turning it is and then <laughs> go from there. The next book that I wanna read is The Last to Vanish by Megan Miranda. It's another kind of summer nature hiking type thriller, which I've read two other ones so far this summer that are kind of in this same kind of genre. I probably not the same genre. To me, it was like spooky summer nature mountains <laughs> kind of vibes. These two thrillers. I actually bought all three of these together when Target was having their buy two get one free deal and I was just out at Target on a whim and was like I'm just gonna buy these without really going in with any again expectations or judgments and just going solely off of reading the back of the back of the back cover and the plot and they all kind of have this summer outdoors nature you know thriller aspect to it. I did not really enjoy these two books. This one sucked. Don't read it. This one was okay. It was better than this one, but like the ending made absolute no sense. Like it was just overall, I was just disappointed with the whole experience and how it ended. I'm hoping this one out of that trio will be better. So we will see. To play my cards even more, I'm debating adding an audiobook into the mix because I can listen to an audiobook on my commute to work. My commute's about 30 minutes both ways, so I could theoretically get about an hour in the car done on the audiobook. And this week's pretty quiet at work, so I could listen to my audiobook while I'm working. So if I get like a kind of a quick thriller that's maybe like six to like 10 hours long, I could maybe finish it too. We're being, we're being very uh, ambitious in this video, but I don't really have another thriller on my like immediate TBR. So I'm gonna have to like look and see what's available and what I'm interested in reading. But yes, I'm definitely reading thrillers. Did I establish that already? We're, we're only reading thrillers. <laughs> we're only reading thrillers. We're only reading thrillers. <laughs> All right, it's like seven o'clock. I need to meal prep. I'm the only one at the apartment right now, which is why I feel very uh, free to just kind of wander around. Cause usually when our roommate is here, I try and keep it quiet, even though I feel like he probably can't hear me anyway because he is like doing his own thing. But like, you know, if you have, if you create content or like 
film yourself, you just feel odd knowing that there's another human being in your immediate presence that could potentially be listening to you and then that just infiltrate, infiltrates your brain and prevents you from chatting as openly as you would if nobody was around. So Sheila is kind of like on vacation a little bit. Um, and George is out at his Monday night one piece card game playing thing. So he goes and does his hobby with his um, card game friends every Monday. So I'll have to go get him later and then we have to run to the grocery store because we need coffee creamer. So now I'm gonna focus on the next, I'm gonna focus my time on meal prepping to get that done, have dinner, and then enjoy my evening to figure out my to-do list situation and then start reading middle of the night. So let's start cooking. <laughs> We've had a series of plot twists already in this vlog because last night I ended up starting an audiobook. I picked one and I'm really into it. Did not expect that, but I started The Midnight Feast by Lucy Foley and I'm, I'm not sure how far I'm in. Does this tell me how far I'm in? There are no chapter numbers either because they're all like alternating between different POVs, but I think I probably got like an hour or so in last night and really into it. So I'm gonna listen to that probably pretty much all day today, like on the way to work, at work, on the way home from work to see how I how far I can get with that. And we will talk more about the plot and what's going on in that book later because it's still in the beginning phases. Um, and then this morning, having a nice slow Tuesday morning because yesterday was much more go, go, go. And I, I'm i really glad I got my meal prep done and just like focused my time after work getting prepped for the week ahead with my to-do list and my meal prepping. And I feel like now I can focus on reading and the other <laughs> tasks and projects that I'm working on this week. I'm about to head into work, but I wanted to start Middle of the Night by Riley Sager. We officially started it dun 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 so i have not gotten far i just finished chapter one there's like a prologue in chapter one i'm curious my the only thing i'm curious about in this book is that it is a male protagonist male characters and riley sager is notorious i think all of his books have been like female main characters so this is kind of a change from what he usually does so I'm liking it so far. I mean, literally just a chapter or two in, but I'm excited to see what happens because um, it's about a boy. His childhood best friend disappears when he's 10. And then this like jumps back and forth, I think between that time when he was 10 and when he's modern day, like 30 years later. So that's kind of like all I know so far, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, so I was sipping on my coffee, but now I need to put it in my to-go tumbler to take it to work. I, something that I've changed or adjusted in my morning routine is even if I have like 10 or 15 minutes in the morning to sit, I am I like having my coffee in a mug and just like sitting with it. Even if I don't finish it, I'll just transfer it to my like travel 
tumbler and take it to work with me, but that's been doing wonders. Just the whole act of like brewing my coffee, sitting down, going through my Hobonichi and like planning my day out and reading a chapter, like those slow gradual moments really add up like in the grand scheme of life or the end of your week or the end of your month and just thought I would share that little, just little micro habits or little rituals really do make a big, big difference on your day and your life. And this is, this is my little ritual. <laughs> but now I must head off to work. I'm gonna take my book with me to try and read on my lunch break. And then obviously audiobook listening for the other times I can't read. So I will check in with you guys probably tonight, tonight, tomorrow, we'll see, we'll see. Hello friends, happy Thursday. We've made it to the start of my weekend, thankfully, because I have tomorrow off. Thank goodness. It's been, it's been a week. I quickly realized I overextended myself with this vlog on top of everything else I'm doing this week, which I'm not surprised. It happens between work, my print shop launching tomorrow, which I'll talk about in a second trying to read a lot and vlogging and my work gig on Saturday. Monday I just felt very stressed and I know my body felt physically stressed because I've been clenching my jaw this week um, and I haven't been sleeping very well and usually that's a perfect recipe when my body is telling me to like slow down, you need to chill, you have too much going on right now, I'm thinking about too much and I really like clench my jaw when I'm anxious or excited, knowing there's something going on that I have to be on and prepared for, and that's basically the theme for this entire week. So Tuesday, it still, I still felt really stressed, and I was like, I need to go home from work today, just have a self-care night, and just not vlog and not do anything. Needed that. And then yesterday, yesterday was Wednesday, I was very focused on work, and, Every, and also every day just been go, 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 like after work too, needing to run errands and like going out and doing stuff, which is not normal either. So just a, a lot of different things happening and finally decided to give my give myself a self-care reading evening at nine o'clock and put on a nice little read with me video by Randy Lynn Reed, uh, who's a YouTuber on here and I'm on her Patreon and lit a candle, dimmed the lights and I got a good couple chapters in. I've broken the 100 page mark of middle of the night. I'm about halfway through the Midnight Feast on audiobook and I'm gonna listen to that on my way to work and I'm enjoying both so far. No real kind of formulated opinions yet other than I'm interested, I'm engaged, I'm not bored, I'm enjoying the experiences of both and I'm eager to find out what happens, um, especially middle of the night. Like Riley Sager, I've read so many of his books. I've also met him in person, if you have not <laughs> seen that vlog, which is why I think I also really enjoy reading his books because I've met him, I like, I don't really know him, but I like know, like I I physically like said hello to him and had an interaction with him and watched him talk. I went to like a book talk where he talked about his latest book that was The Lake 
the house on the lake at that time when that book came out i just really enjoy his writing and i am biased obviously because i met him so yeah that's that's the reading update i need to go to work it's going to be another kind of just head down at work day we have records coming in my colleague texts me this morning asking me if i wanted like an iced latte from this coffee shop that he stops at a lot on his way to work and we chatted about you know linking up so he could stop by and get me one and i was like yes that sounds amazing i was planning just to make myself like an iced coffee to take to work today but i'll have a nice iced latte waiting for me when i get to work so grateful so grateful oh the other thing i'm leaving work early today because i need to get an oil change Again, so much going on. I need to also check in with my weekly to-do list that we made at the beginning of this video because what's going on there? And then, yes, tomorrow I am launching my online print shop, which I have not talked about yet on here, but I've been also busy behind the scenes of this vlog working on promo stuff for that, reels, graphics, getting the listing page set up, and it's launching tomorrow at noon. And I'm excited and I need to work on it tonight. So I'll be leaving work a little bit early. I'll probably be at the car place for like an hour, hour and a half, splitting my time between like work stuff, product launch stuff, and maybe some reading. I don't know, we'll see how I feel at that point, but I'll take you guys along as well. And apologies for all the noise in the background. I don't live in a quiet rural country setting. I mean, I live in suburbia, but like near a busy road and a grocery store. So there are just trucks going by and sound. That's the reality. All right, off to work I go, friend. But now I feel vindicated because it looks like there are secrets on both sides of this marriage. Friday friends it's my weekend we're starting the weekend early this week and I needed it <laughs> today is also launch day I'm officially launching my print shop my online print shop if you saw my last video my artist diaries video you saw my whole journey of returning to self-portrait photography and being in this art show and creating prints and I made postcard prints of all of my art from that exhibit so I can sell it and I sold them at my art show in person and wanted to extend it to the online world. I originally sold these you know at the show in person and wanted to extend it to the online world so you guys could have an opportunity to own some something that I made. So we're launching in T-minus one hour and three minutes, which is not very dramatic at all. I'm literally gonna be just be sitting at my desk because everything is set up, at least. I'll know if anything is not working once I launch it officially and people start making orders and if there are issues, then I'll know. So really I'm just kind of like sitting here waiting for the time frame to come that I said I would launch it and I just need to get on Instagram and YouTube and share the link to my shop which is on Gum Road if you're watching this video the shop is already up it's sheilajoycreative.gumroad.com and I'm gonna have my shop open for just a couple weeks I'm gonna close it either at the end of August or like the first week of September because I am traveling and that seems like a good enough time to create a sense of urgency for y'all to go out and shop if you are interested in shopping. So I need to figure out like when I'm closing the shop because today is the 16th. So maybe like August 30th, I don't know. I will figure that out. But the one thing I need to do in preparation for this is like write up my posts when I'm actually officially sharing the link to go shop. So I need to do an Instagram, re or 
and Instagram story is the main way and then so I'll probably just post random stories today promoting it and I need to do like a static Instagram post so just like a traditional grid uh, post and also share it on my YouTube community tab with graphics that I have already prepared so I feel very proud of myself for getting everything prepped and I'm not rushing myself today and I mean I took my good sweet time working on this launch which is in alignment with just where I'm at in my life and my capacity so everything minus just the anxiety and stress and excitement of it like it happening this week with you know my lack of sleep and my jaw issues it's been it's been very slow at least in that sense compared to how I used to approach launching <laughs> things in the past so much stress and then this morning I woke up at like 4 a.m could not fall back asleep for like an hour and at that point I when I wake up between like 4 and 5 a.m I really contemplate just staying up and you know having that early morning routine that everybody romanticizes but honestly I know that I'll just have a a really rotten day because I need my sleep to function so thankfully I fell back asleep literally like after probably an hour um, I like got up and like did some stretches and because I also have PMS cramps that are keeping me like awake and I was just like stark awake thinking about everything excited for the launch and just so many things running through my head that that's been the theme of this week so I'm just glad Friday is here I'm actually launching this and then I'm gonna focus on reading for the rest of the day that's kind of my treat to myself because this is truly a day off for me since I'm technically working tomorrow doing my photography event photography gig so I really want to just chill at home today after I get everything launched and try and finish that's in vicious Sheila try and get through a good chunk of middle of the night plot twists of sorts I am listening to the midnight feast on Spotify I'm really enjoying it guys I have probably how much is left on here I have an hour and 38 minutes left so I'm like at like 80 to 90 percent done and I'm listening to it on Spotify and if you don't know if you have like a paid Spotify subscription you get up to 15 hours a month of free audiobook listening which I recently found out I've been trying to <laughs> use up our my audiobook listenings because George and I share a Spotify account and he doesn't listen my battery died. As I was saying, I ran out of audiobook listening hours last night as I was trying to listen to my audiobook. So it at least will like finish a chapter for you, but then after that it kind of like says you're you're out of hours, want more, and then you could I guess get more. But the good news, the plot on the plot, the plot twist on the plot twist is that my credits renew in 10 hours so tomorrow I'll be able to re-up my listening hours and then I could finish listening to it tomorrow yeah because I literally only have an hour and a half left so I can definitely finish that tomorrow which is exciting and then today is going to be focused on actually reading and trying to get through a good chunk of middle of the night so I've been enjoying this so far I wasn't sure if I was going to going to enjoy it but I really love the suburban kind of feel like it's about a a boy and it flips between when the, he was a boy when he was 10 and when he is an adult when he's 40 and when he was 10 his friend and him were sleeping having a sleepover like in their backyard and he woke up and his friend was gone for 30 years they don't know what happened to him he just disappeared so I just really like the neighborhood aspect the different like neighbors like do you really know your neighbors and the flashbacks in between the different um, younger versions and older version POVs and yeah I'm really enjoying it so far and like I said I love I'm loving the midnight feast so I'm like wondering like how the ending is going to go and I've I think reading the midnight feast just solidifies that I am a fan of Lucy Foley because I've read the hunting party by Lucy Foley and I read the guest list and I know she has a couple other books that now I want to read, but I really enjoyed those other two books, even if they weren't like true, if they weren't perfect books or like I had my own criticisms, I really enjoy her writing, her pace, and the way she just has you kind of like wanting more, the way she sets up her chapters and her 
like scenarios and the different characters. Um, the Midnight Feast has a lot of different POVs, a lot of different <laughs> characters, and listening on audiobook is interesting because there's like five or six different voice um, narrators and they're all British of course or of some sort of British dialect so it's just really fun. It's been a fun listening experience to listen to it via audiobook as well. So yeah, I'm going to write up my promo, my official posts to, to launch and get those scheduled I think or try to get them scheduled for noon and then I think I'll just try and read till we get it going, till we get the launch going and maybe start editing this video because I have not imported any of my footage and I'm sure there's a lot of footage to sift through. So, yeah. Sunday friends. I am exhausted from yesterday, hence why I did not vlog at all. I got some little b-roll bits of the Artisan Fair and was so exhausted by the time I got home and then I had to like start editing my photos and like I was sleepy tired and my muscles were like physically tired. I think it was just all just a culmination of this week and my body is feeling it. Luckily I don't really feel fatigued or like lethargic like I would normally feel when I'm like burned out. It's more of just like my body is like physically, my muscles are sore like I did a really intense workout. Alas, today is Sunday and I'm having a very slow soft morning because I need it. I have a lot to do today. Well, that sounds dramatic, but I do have a few work things I need to do today. I need to like continue editing and try and get a preview of my photos sent out by the end of the day. At least that's my goal. And I need to pack my postcard orders because we have orders to send out tomorrow, which is super exciting. Thank you to anyone that purchased prints during my launch weekend. It means the world to me and I'm excited to pack your order and get them out in the mail. And the sale again will be going on for this week and the next week. So when you're watching this, hopefully when this video comes out, you still have time to shop. But I am taking a slow morning and focusing on reading. I have lots of updates because I finished middle of the night. Did I say that already? I don't even know. Right, because I finished that Friday night and I think that was like the last time I talked to you guys, like before I finished it. Oh my god, my arm. It's like I can't even like hold this up, but I don't feel like sitting and making an attractive background. So I finished middle of the night. I'm still processing like my overall thoughts of it, but it definitely was a little underwhelming and not his best work or my favorite book of his. So I'll have more thoughts when I like do a final roundup of the books I read in this video. So. I started The Last to Vanish Friday night. I wanted to at least get it started and I'm glad I did. And I got, I don't know, like 50 pages in actually? Because I didn't do any reading yesterday and then I started at the 50 page mark this morning and I'm into it. I've never read a book by Megan Miranda before but I am enjoying her writing so far. So I think I might be at least a fan of reading other books by her. And this is basically about missing hikers, um, <laughs> which I'm loving so much because I just want to pretend I'm in the mountains hiking, even if there is a spooky element of getting lost in the woods. Love that. And it's like a creepy town, do you know your neighbors kind of vibe. So enjoying that so much. So I'm going to go plop on the couch. 
a little longer before I eat lunch and try and get some more reading in. And then I think after lunch this afternoon, I need to get some work done. And that's it. Also, laundry is happening. And I'm not going to the grocery store today because that's just too much and we definitely have enough food because we went to the grocery store I think last Wednesday so now our like grocery shopping routine day is kind of like off skew which is fine because this week has just been a little out of the norm. All right, I will check in with you guys later and see how much I can get read today. Oh, middle of the feast, middle of the feast. <laughs> Oh my god, Midnight Feast. I have like 15 minutes left on that. I listened to a little bit yesterday, I think on my way to work, on my way to my photo gig, but like after the photo gig, I just had no brain space because I was like chatting a lot with the vendors. I feel like I should talk more about <laughs> the vendors and the show itself, but I just, maybe later. But I did get something from one of the artisans, like a pressed flower frame and I was agonizing over which one that I wanted and then I decided to get I decided which one I wanted went back and it was sold <laughs> so I had to spend more time figuring out another one that I wanted to get bought that and then I ended up forgetting it and leaving it at our um, booth where my historical society job was set up and thankfully my co-worker Chris texted me saying hey I think you forgot this and I was like oh my god like with everything going on of course I would leave that there um, but thankfully we will see each other tomorrow at work and he's gonna bring it to me. So I will show a clip of it once I have it in my hands. Um, but I wanna add it to one of my gallery walls, probably on the living room because I want everyone to see it, but this is my bedroom gallery wall. It would look nice here, it would look nice over there, but I wanna put it out in the living room. Anyway, okay, my arm is dying. Let's go read now. <laughs> Welcome to the end of this reading vlog, friends. I'm gonna keep this short and sweet, or try to, because I have had a small migraine the past few days, and it's been a long time since I wrapped up my this video. Um, so in between the last time I filmed, I had a whole week of craziness at work, and now we're halfway through the second week, and I've been dealing with a migraine. So basically, I have overworked myself a little bit during the week I was filming this video in between work and then the week after I filmed this video, work just got crazy, crazy, very out of the normal. And I am still trying to recover from that. So it has made filming this outro and finishing this video difficult, but I am trying to get through and finish it. So let's finish it, so, shall we? So as a recap, I read these two books and I listened to The Midnight Feast on audiobook. When I last left off with you guys, I had just started reading The Last to Vanish on a Friday night and by Sunday, I had read 190 pages and I had, I don't, I think I was at like the 230 mark or something. So I had a little chunk left to read that I ended up finishing a couple days later, like after the vlog had finished. But I really enjoyed this. I like Megan Miranda. I wanna read more of her books now. And I know she has a couple other ones that people seem to enjoy as well. So I'm looking forward to reading more of her books. So I call that a win, discovering an author who you want to read again. And I feel like of all the books I read, I liked this one the most. The Midnight Feast. Listening to an audiobook is like great, but it's also difficult because I'm usually multitasking when I'm listening to an audiobook, whether it's driving, cleaning, cooking. Like it's very hard to not multitask when I'm listening to an audiobook. So I feel like I missed a lot of the story because by the end of the book, like I was very confused 
on on various things and I essentially had to go and read a full like chapter by chapter summary to fully understand all the twists and turns but I liked I liked the Midnight Feast I think I would give it a three a three star review and like I said earlier I really enjoy Lucy Foley's writing and would recommend her as an author and I would recommend The Midnight Feast and the other books that I've read and I want to read some more books of hers that I've not read. But I liked most about The Midnight Feast. I mean the twists, they were twists that definitely caught me by surprise but I don't know if that's because I was listening to it on audiobook and wasn't like fully like focused on it if that makes any sense. I That's why I prefer to read my books not because I feel like I'm a book snob, but because I actually retain the information, the story more when I'm physically looking at the words and my, all my attention is focused on that. Uh, but when I'm listening to an audiobook, it's very easy for me to multitask and then I could really miss, you know, substance of the story as I did with this one. There's also this neat, I love the folk there's like this folk folklore kind of um, aspect to it as well that my brain is not being able to kind of communicate. But I really enjoyed that with like the folk rituals of the town. I don't want to give too much away, you know, to spoil anything. But overall, I enjoyed it. There were some like some twists at the end just kind of made me go, hmm. <laughs> um, but I would read it. I would definitely recommend it if you are interested in the plot. So I would say that's the second most favorite book of the three that I read, and my least favorite was Middle of the Night by Riley Sager, the one that I was kind of thinking would have been the best book of the three. This was underwhelming. I feel like compared to other books of his, not, not his best, not my favorite. All of these were kind of mysteries. I don't know if any of them really were true thrillers in the sense that they're like, you know, we're action, there's page, like, page turning, twists and turns, it was, they're all kind of more mystery, suspense, kind of slow build-ups to get to the twists and turns that we would think when we're reading a thriller. So I don't know if thriller is the right term for these books, mystery thrillers might make more sense. So statistic-wise, I read 360 pages of Middle of the Night, 190 pages of The Last to Vanish, which would be 557 pages, if I could do math in my head, oh my god. And the middle of the middle of the feast, the Midnight Feast was 10 hours and 20 minutes. And that one I mostly listened on 1.2 and 1.5 speed. There were some instances where I listened to it on two times speed, but with those British accents, it, you know, I had to keep it at 1.2 or 1.5 so I could actually understand what they were saying and retain the story more. But even with that, I didn't retain a lot of the story, but I enjoyed it. And then once going back and reading the summary, I'm like, okay, I get this, I get this. I enjoyed this. So alas, if I have any short tips, short and sweet tips, if you are trying to read more this week or this month, what would I, what tips would I give you? I think genre, picking the right genre is a game changer. Don't go in trying to read literary, a, liter, a literary masterpiece if you know those books take you longer to read and you want to put more intention and time into it. For me, thrillers, mysteries, and romance, I read at a faster pace because they're a lot easier for me to read. So those are books that I would gravitate towards if I'm trying to do a week of trying to read as much as I can or to do a reading sprint or like a weekend sprint or something. So I would say make sure you're picking a genre that is easy and quick for you to read if there are certain genres that are easier for you to read than other ones. And make sure it's interesting because if it's not interesting and fun, why are we reading? It's gonna be boring. So if you find yourself being bored, then maybe that's a sign to find a different book and that is okay to DNF a book coming from me, a self-proclaimed I don't DNF, but I, I think there is a place for the DNF and I would say do it, do it. Other kind of tips regarding like time, I mentioned that I get a lot of my reading done on the weekends when I have a larger chunk of time to dedicate. So like Saturday mornings or Sunday afternoons or evening before bed. And I try and read like 
snippets during the work week. Like on my lunch break, I'll try and get a chapter in. When I had slower mornings without the work chaos, I could get a chapter in before going to work. Um, and on busy weeks, like the past two weeks, that's just not happening and that's okay. One other tip I was hoping to remember to say that I completely forgot until now as I'm watching this back is to put on like focus read with me videos or ambiance videos or like timers things where there's kind of an external accountability even though it's not a human so like read with me videos are great like 30 minute read with me's or one hour read with me's there's plenty on youtube i think i've done one or two here and buddy reads with a friend if you have a friend or a family member that will join you in like a 30 minute sprint or like an hour sprint that kind of gamifies reading which makes it fun for me but yeah the biggest thing that really does help for me is if i put on like a youtube video whether it's like an hour or two hour kind of like ambiance video and it helps me just like know i'm kind of locked in for these next two hours and it does it really does help me focus so can't recommend having some kind of external accountability whether it's human or not human <laughs> alas i got three books done for, for my Goodreads challenge. So I think I'm like one book ahead of my 40 books to read this year goal, which is great. And we're going into spooky Halloween fall time, which favorite time for reading. It's when I get most of my reading done. Yes. All right, friends, thank you for coming along for this journey. This video was such a journey for you to watch and for me to edit and show up for. And I'm just happy I got through it. I hope it was helpful, entertaining, and motivating if you're looking for some inspiration to try and read more with the chaos that is life. So with that said, I will see you in the next one. Bye.